Hey, this is Adam from MrHorse.tv. Let's put our hands on the new updated elements pack. We will be recreating this animation. So, it's pretty simple. We will be using Animation Composer, obviously, and our text pack with our elements pack. So I'm going to create a new composition. Now I'll create a new layer, new, make a duplicate, elements, awesome, good enough. Now we'll make this a bit bigger. Great, this is, this is fine. I'll put it, move it a little bit down so it's in the middle. And now let's animate some some words. So I have this preset which looks pretty good. So I'll just select these two layers and apply it as in transition. Now the layers are expanded. I have a neat trick. I just press L and it's back to normal. So if I play this, it animates. Awesome. So I'll move the playhead forward here and trim the layers with option right bracket. And then I will drag the transition to the out and press L once again. So now, now we will have a nice in and out transition. So I'll place the playhead here. Now let's spice it up with some neat, nice elements. I'll scroll down and now the new elements are divided into two folders. Ones which have customizable duration and ones which have fixed duration. These are all new. So I'll open the folder and let's add something ornamental. I'll click to this icon to bring up the preview grid. Scroll down. And I think I want to add this ornament. Make it last one second. Edit without sound. By default, it will be white like this. So if you want to change the color, feel free to do it. I was pretty fine with the yellow color, maybe a bit darker like this. So I'll move it here, make it a bit bigger. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I'm holding shift to constrain the, the ratio. And now I will make a duplicate with command D or control D if you are on Windows. So I have two layers now and I can go to search and search for a flip horizontal. Oops, like this. The same thing can be achieved if you, I hit undo and I press S to reveal scale and set the X axis to minus. And I will turn this back on. So now I can just reposition this here so it's nice. Move it a bit down. And I think I want to change the color once again, make it a little bit darker like this. Good. Now it looks great. If I play this, it looks pretty good with such a little effort. Well, the text is animating out too soon, so I will bring up the transition shifter, set it to out transitions and drag it to the right. You can see the out transitions move to the right. So now it should be more in sync. So if I play it once again, it's much better. Awesome. So let's add one more thing. From the example, I'll close transition shifter. Let's add animation like this. So it's a simple layer, one simple text layer. I'll create a new one, new, new text. 
it is so simple. All right, I'll make it smaller. I think the spaces are too small, so I'll add one more to each manually. So let's reposition it to the middle. Great. And let's animate this. I think I want to scale the, the words. I have already made a favorite, but I can go to I can use the preview grid as well. So I'm not sure if this is the one I want. I guess this is it. So I'll use it as in animation. Oops, I haven't selected the layer. So I'll select this layer. Oops. Great. And apply it as in animation. Press L to hide the to hide the layer properties. Yeah. This is good. This is cool. Now I will add the line. So once again, I'm going to customizable duration folder and reveal lines. Hmm. I guess this is the one I want and I want to animate it. Animate it out. Well, animate it in. Like this. Now I will move it here. Press S for scale. Turn this off and change the X size. Move it to the right a little more. And now I will change the Y size, so make it a bit thicker. Yeah, this is enough. And a bit more to the X. Okay, this is fine. And if I play this, it's already looking nice. But it ends very soon, so I want to make it last a little longer. I can do it easily by changing the duration right here. So I can tell it to stay for, let's say, three seconds. And you can see that it now lasts longer. So let's now fade it out. I'll just select these two layers, trim them with option right bracket. And I will fade it out. I'll just, oops, I'm now in the 2D text. I want to go to 2D layer transformations, fade, and fade them out. Great. Make, let's make them last a little shorter. I mean, let's fade them out sooner. So I'll open transition shifter once again, set it to out transitions, and I will move this to the left. That's it. So now, if I play it, the whole thing, I'm done. Took me a couple minutes and this is what I got. Not bad. <laughs>